We are saying operations before operation, especially uh, three, maybe four things. Uh, don't uh, eat, yeah. please. Yeah. Uh, what is your advice, especially before operation? Especially then. For example, uh, we are saying uh, no alcohol, no caffeine, no, no vitamin, or no uh, aspirin, or blah blah. Mm -hmm. What is your advice about that? This is a really good point. Yes. Yes, this is a really good point. You made a really good point. The blood thinners. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially. That, that will make the bleeding a lot and uh, the patient will lose a lot of blood. So, especially before the operation, they should avoid it. It is uh, like some uh, drinks also, like alcohol or also um, some foods like garlic, olive oil, mm -hmm. green tea. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, they should avoid it. After the surgery, it's it's fine because it's uh, it has a good source of vitamin E's and well they can use that the that vitamin C. Yeah, exactly. After the operation, after. Mm -hmm. but, uh, before operation. No, because yeah. it, it will cause the bleeding. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this is important. And after the operation, what they should do is take care of that hair, right? So let's send them good nutrients to protect it. Um, to moisturize it, drink water, really important for skin hair. Water needs to reach that follicle and then uh, that follicle needs to keep the hair. And when we look in the follicle, it's created uh, by fat, lipids and some protein, which is keratin. So in the nutrition, uh, they should really pay attention to their proteins to protect the hair and good fatty acids, not the bad ones. Yeah, this is what I also told. So also vitamin E's and antioxidants, which fights uh, oxidative stress. And um, lower, minimize the damage, the cell damage. It's really important to minimize the cell damage. So vitamin E, D, C, uh, and especially fat soluble vitamins, they should also provide that. And also, water is really important. Healthy lifestyle is really important. Healthy sleep routine is really important. They should also keep doing that after the operation. <laughs> okay. And then you will you will see your patients, and then they are protecting their hair just fine. Okay. Okay. And there are some foods that I want to mention that they can be uh, taking in their nutrition, which is the blueberries, which has a really high uh, amount of antioxidants. Blueberry, antioxidants. Blueberry, yes. And the other uh, fresh fruits, I really suggest that. And avocados, which is a great source of um, fat, good fat. Well, they should pay attention to the amount, but they can also use the avocado as a fruit or use the avocado oil. Lentils, which is high in protein, especially for vegetarians and vegans, uh, they can be struggling with protein deficiency. So they should go for lentils more. Like, like can we do a hair mask with avocado? <laughs> good, good idea. Good Why idea. not? <laughs> yeah, it's yes. a good idea. It, the mask is a good idea. To eat it with salad is a good idea. But just use it as as uh, as can uh, have, it, have you like. We can. Yeah. Okay, what's your uh, advice about vitamin supplement? If a person has a deficiency, then it can be an option, but we can't use it just just go and buy it like uh, we don't know uh, what we what we need. So there should be a blood test and mm -hmm. if a person needs iron, they should get iron separately and they should get zinc if, if, if they if they need it. Uh, they can just go and use their zinc because it can cause um, some other problems then. More, more than its uh, level, it can cause other problems. Well, okay, thank okay. you. Do you have other questions? Yeah, I'm going to ask you. Yes, I'm going to ask you.